Hello and welcome back to the Gerard Realty Show. It's Damian Gerard, your host. And as you know, I'm here with Alfonso Giganti from Gerard Realty Group. Alfonso, the what's interesting about what we do is that you know, we're professional salespeople. We help people buy and sell. And what we the only thing we have to sell, because we don't own any of the houses, right? Mm-hmm. It, I do mostly listings and I don't own any of those properties. And you do mostly buyers and you don't own any of those properties. So Not what one we of them. sell no. is a service of helping people with achieving their real estate plan. Right. Sure. So we help them strategize, we help them identify what they're looking for. We help them locate it. We help them find it. Right. And then we negotiate the very best deal that we can for them. And if it's uh, sellers, we want to get the highest that the market will provide. And when you're on the buyer side, your job is to get the- Get the best deal for them. The best deal for Save them as much money. They can either put it in something else or put it in that home. Exactly. And it's always within a range. And we don't (laughs) make the market. We can't change the market. We have to- really define the market and then help our people take advantage right, to get our clients unfair advantage on the buy or sell side. Exactly. Damien, the other thing too, I was going to say is we, you know, our job really is to provide the information that's already there, but how to interpret it and exactly. present it to them exactly. and show them the numbers. Like you said, it's where their house sits in the market. Right. I mean, there's no shortage of information, again, buyer or seller. Everybody knows everything today. Yep. It's not like when I started when nobody knew anything and, you know, a realtor could only work a neighborhood because that was the only way you could know what you were talking about. Today, everybody knows everything and our job is to distill that. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think it's um, it's a game of psychology, right? So we're trying sure. to help people really identify their needs mm-hmm. and then find them. But while it's true that it's all about psychology in any one particular um, transaction, the reality is it's a numbers game. Because a house is worth a certain number of dollars, maybe a little more, a little less. And we have to know what the market is doing. And so a lot of that is knowing how to compare where we are now to where we've been and get some sort of idea about where we might go. Right. And so that's why I think, and we're not going to do it a lot because I'm I'm not convinced that it's good radio, but we spend a lot of time looking at statistics and looking at what the market itself is doing, right? Mm-hmm. And so I thought it might be a good idea to take an overall view, just a few statistical numbers that people, our listeners, might be thinking about. So if you're like wondering what's really going on with home values, with the number of uh, transactions that are actually being done, with the number of available listings, we hear a lot about generalities, but... I'm going to throw out some statistics about the overall market, the the St. Louis area. Yeah. But in doing that, I also want to uh, offer to any of our listeners, any of our clients, or any of your friends or family, if you're thinking about being in the market, call or text me right now and just uh, put the word uh, stat in your text or leave your name and the word stat on a voicemail because we don't answer the phone while we're on the air. It's just too hard to do that. Um, And... Give me your address or even your zip code. We will do a specific market analysis for your house based on statistics, based on what's actually going on today. We we, we hear people talk about competitive market analysis, but that's not it's not a real simple cut and dried thing. You no, know? and it's not as simple as going on Zillow and doing a estimate either. I, I hear that, and it's like, whoa, my goodness, it's uh, it's really not accurate information. Yeah, it it but it's a it's. They call it a Zestimate because it's a Zillow estimate. I mean, they right. don't even pretend, but it's amazing how many people, because Zillow spends a gazillions of dollars marketing and advertising, yeah, they, they want do. to be the encyclopedia of real estate. Um, and they, they'll they tell you, hey, this is not what your house is worth. This is an estimate. And if you want to know what your house is worth, find a realtor who you trust, right? who is competent, who has experience in today's market and who knows how to negotiate the best deal for your house, because that's the only way to really know what your house is worth. So, but let's do throw out some statistics. What do you think as far as uh, this uh, first quarter of 2014 versus first quarter this year, 2015 and the number of sales that have actually closed in the St. Louis area? Well, you know, the market average is usually an increase um, and, you know, when I looked at the numbers, it looked like they were pretty close to the same. You know what? It's it's really amazing to me because the number of, of uh, 
sales transactions that have closed is up almost eight percent. Eight percent. Yeah. Wow. Which which really surprised me when I saw that number because it doesn't. I mean, it feels like we're getting you know a little more frequent transactions. You know, I mean, our business is up significantly more than eight percent, but right. the overall market. Um, is not. So a lot of that comes back to a number of available listings. And if you look at the number of available listings, yeah, first quarter 15 versus first quarter 14, that is, I'm going to let you, what is that? That's down almost 4%. Down 4%. Yeah. So that's crazy. So that means that houses are just flying off the shelves in the big, now your neighborhood might be different. Right. Right. But in the big picture, uh, inventory is 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 going down and down, but closed sales is going up. It's it's a weird, um, it's a conundrum to me. So inventory shrinking is what it's showing. Inventory is shrinking, yeah, and shrinking even more. So the next stat I wanted to throw out, and, and again, folks, if you're listening and these numbers are just going to fly by real quickly, but you want to know how your house fits the market, just call or text me, 314-896-0474. Give me your name and the word stat, and we'll prepare a specific report for your house, whether you're on the buy or sell side, one that you might be targeting. But so expired listings. If you have a house and it's been on the market for some time, and I'm talking more than, say, 65, 75, 90 days, Mm -hmm. what does it tell you? I mean, what does it tell you about your house? Uh, It tells you that your agent is no bueno. (laughs) Well... (laughs) That's one thing it tells you. I mean, it, it tells you that uh, it tells me that your house, just plain simple, is overpriced. Yeah. Usually it's always a factor of price. It, which I guess you could relate back to the agent. I mean, if, you're, if your agent, how many times do, well, I won't ask you because you really don't do that many listings, but I go right. on the listing calls and people want to sell their house and I'm like, well, how did you get this number? And they say, well, that's what my agent said it was worth and that's what they said they could get me and I, it, it makes me crazy cuz like what do you mean your agent can get you yeah. how do they get it to you they're going to get you $50,000 more than what the market says your house is worth it's not it's not even possible no so if your house is expired listing and it's been out there the market has seen it it hasn't sold and at the end of the day it's always your price and if you got your price from your agent what did you say your age is? No bueno? No or bueno. Il, il bueno or something no like bueno. that. Yeah. So expired listings nice. in a market like this, um, you would expect expired listings would be virtually non-existent. Non-existent. You would think. Right. So the number of expired listings in this quarter versus last uh, this quarter of last year is down 10%. So they're just, they're just aren't expired listings. I, yeah. You know, there's a zillion um, real estate agents who... They make a living calling expired listings and sure. saying, hey, if you still want to – and we do that. Yeah. And we actually, you know, we get listings that way because people haven't heard of us before that we make that call. But, you know, there's just fewer and fewer of those. I mean, there's very few expired listings. And so I just – I guess I want to throw that out from a statistical – we're not making this up. I mean, these are hard numbers. If your house is expiring soon and or it's been on for, say, more than 90 days and it hasn't sold – Think about doing it a little differently because new marketing a, plan possibly. Yeah, new mm. marketing plan. I mean, you know, w- we do a ton of activity in Gerard Realty Group to get exposure for that property, but it, it, you know, it also starts with that expectation. And if you're talking to an agent who says they're going to get you something, I hope that what they mm. mean is um, that they are going to buy it from you because that's yeah. the only way. You know, that's, that's the only right. way they they can get they something get you. for yeah. you. The market sets the price. We report the market. Mm-hmm. We help our buyers buy at the low end of the market. We help our sellers sell at the high end of the market. And again, call or text me right now your name and the word stats, 314-896-0474. We'll prepare a market analysis based on hard statistical facts for your home. And also remember, please tune in next week at 3 o'clock at the Gerard Realty Show on KTRS.